Well, she wants to make sure you see the shirts. Yeah, we got I shirts. Even, I even wore it because I wasn't going to. I wore tank tops, but <laughs> I wore it just for the video for my sweetheart. Yes. So uh, we're, we're ready. ready. We're, we're ready to rock and roll. Everything's loaded. Everything's fixed. <laughs> we're on the road, baby. We are ready. So thank you know we we thank those of you who have actually sent us little text messages and Facebook messages. Have a safe trip. We're very excited. Um, the RVs loaded up, and this guy worked hard yesterday with his mechanical stuff underneath. So we're and ready. You can, you can see this tent line. That's from Jeremy DeGraff in St. George, the tent shop. Yeah, Boom. The tent. Great the job, bud. It's amazing. It feels good. Blocks all that sun. Thank you so much. All right, so I'm going to show you what we did really quick. I'm going to do another video to show you how I packed everything up. We don't know. We're not professional packers. We don't know how much this stuff is going to move, but we're packed up. Right? All right, so here we are. We're ready to roll. Everything is packed up. I will make a video once we arrive and everything, there's my drink, um, once we arrive and everything is in its place, but right now everything is packed up in all of the drawers, down here too, we don't know, we've never packed like this, but I kind of put, lodged in some bags and Kleenex and paper towels so nothing moves so much, the closets. Like I got clothes in my closet, some bananas in the closet. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. Uh, the refrigerator is stuffed up. Check that out. Everything is in there and the freezer is too. So anyway, we're going to head out. Thank you for watching. Bye. We have arrived at our first destination, which is in Idaho Falls. Idaho Falls. What's the name yes. of this place? Snake River. Snake River Campground. And it's really very cute. I really like it. There's a lot of spots and everything else. But uh, we made it from Vegas to Ogden, Utah without stopping once. I had this cute little lady next to me that drinks coffee in the morning, had a shake, all this other kind of shakeology, all this other stuff. And she wanted to know when our first stop was going to be. Cause she had to use the restroom and I said you got a restroom right here go use it so she did multiple times yeah. saved many trips or many stops obviously yeah. and like I said I mean I was so pleased we made it to Ogden in eight hours yeah. from Vegas traffic was not too bad we made it through Salt Lake before we stopped so we beat the Salt Lake traffic and then two hours later we arrived here so in all of this it went great the whole performance was great. We didn't fight at all. Well, maybe a little bit, but not much at all. But we want to show you something. This is really cool. You want to show them now or you want to say something else? No, I'm done, but I'm just going to give them a little tour of uh, Idaho Falls. Okay, well, let's, let's go, go show them. Look what we found. Yeah, go. Okay. I'm going to follow. In all this construction. In all this construction. Oh, I need to switch it. How do I switch it? I can't do it on the video. Oh, it's gotta be that one. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna come follow on. you. Here, you gotta go past me because I gotta open the door. Okay. In the meantime, you're getting a nice little tour of the RV. Look, a little bit of Idaho Falls out here. There's somebody in a tent. I'm not ready for that. There's somebody in a tent. There's a little boy carrying an ice box. There you go. This is the other side. See, there's tons of people. It's really woodsy and lots of lots of rocks and it's actually very cute. For 50 something dollars a night, what else do you expect? And this is what I found. <laughs> Timmy doesn't even fit in no the toilet. Room. Can't hit my head here. Can't. Yeah, he can't even wipe. It's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> RV living, spacious, uh, <laughs> spacious, <laughs> wide open, wide open place. All right, all righty guys, bye. Let me finish what I'm doing, okay? Oh, stop it. All right, so after that visual that you got of Timmy in the toilet, let me give you a little tour of what we're doing here. We're having some water 
How much some chips? I got wine over here. <laughs> we got some water and some chips and hummus. There's Timmy. That's a new injury right here, by the way, uh, as he was trying to fix the shocks, right? Torque wrench. The torque wrench, yes. Right now we have some chicken in the oven. I have some salad waiting to be served and Dawn is out and ready to roll. But this is RV living. The sun is hitting us here, so we kind of close the shades. We got the um, map of the RV campground, trash and shoes everywhere. But this is what RV living is like. It's actually pretty cool. I can get used to this. Say bye, Timmy. Bye, Timmy. I wouldn't even take any more photos. We've been driving for what? Seven? Six? I don't even know. Like around six hours. Um, and he's about to turn those on because I can't even see anymore. Are you going to turn them on, Papa? Not yet. Not yet, he says. I can see fine. Huh? Can he can see, see fine? I guess he can't see fine. Is that lightning? Yep. Yes, I did. All right, the wipers work, people. There you go. Yay! The bugs are gone and we can actually see. Well, we made it. Where did we make it to, baby? We're in Whitefish, Montana. Yes, it took about seven hours with stops because we stopped in Dillon, Montana to pay the respects to Timmy's grandparents which he had not been to visit ever for a yeah long long yeah. long like 40 so. years or whatever and my older brother has been there and so we stopped in Dillon because it was right on the I mean I'm going we're right going to Dillon it was right we've got to the go there so we go to the yeah we go to the uh, what is it called mortuary yes. and no it's not the mortuary cemetery it's a cemetery we go to the cemetery and we start walking and Lizzie goes, you don't know where it's at? And I said, no. no. And I'm thinking it's a little spot, you know, like 50 yards by 50 yards. No, uh, it's been like 50 years since I've been there. So it's a little bit bigger than that. Yeah. So we start searching all over the place. And in the interim of searching, this antelope comes my way, sort of says hi to me, goes her way and says hi to her. I mean, there's other people there and it doesn't go anywhere near them. So then we text my older brother, because he's been there a couple of times, and he said, you know, go up to the right and follow that up 75 yards, do this, do that. And Lizzie comes over and we're chatting and we can't find it, can't find it, can't find it. And I said it, and she's standing right here by me. I said, it's supposed to be like right, and it was right there. Yeah, it was I mean, pretty It was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. So we did that on the way here, and then it rained, and um, to make a very long story short, inside an RV for seven hours we made it. The place is beautiful, so I'll take a couple pictures and show you, but this will be your home for the next four, four days. days. Four days. Um, two days of travel, which is tough, but um, this baby held really, really well. I'm super proud of the work we have done, and especially him, because he did all the hard work. But um, we just had dinner, and everything works. There's hot water. There's, um, what else? You know, like the air conditioner works. The heater works if it gets cold, because it's 66 degrees here today. So it's a, just a beautiful, beautiful place. So I can't wait to show you. A few so, pointers. Air conditioner is also a heater. So we have two heaters. We have the air conditioner heater, we have that heater. The water heater is a tankless. 
So as long as we That's got propane key. and water, That's key. we can run it as long as we want to run it. I mean, it's not like you have eight gallons and you better be done. Right. So I absolutely love that. The as she said, the range and the oven work fantastic. Yep. The microwave works great. Our I coffee. Mean, I mean, we've, we've made everything in here in the last two days, and nothing. Uh, we've had no problems with anything. So God forbid. I mean, God forbid. Okay, I'm, God, I'm not going to win. Knock on wood. <laughs> um, everything is still going well. So I mean, we're super excited. We have a full four days planned so you'll see it all on the video so anyway have a great evening it is evening for us almost bedtime yep. but we're gonna go explore for a little bit because we just got here yep all right bye thanks guys bye okay so this is what our little rv looks like when it's all put together we're here we took everything out and we have our book that i'm going to study thoroughly later today or this evening um, the cushions are out. Everything in the closet that was in there, including the bananas, have been put, put back on the table. Uh, showers. Um, my vacuum is actually charging right now because we need to vacuum after dinner. Bedroom is ready to go. Bathroom is all set up. Towels hanging. The uh, kitchen is all set up. I got my coffee maker out. We just made some spaghetti and meatballs, so that's all done. I just did the dishes. So it's like a little home away from home. It is so, so amazing and so cute. And we got neighbors. We just met them, really, really nice people. And we're heading out for a walk. So it is a beautiful, beautiful RV place. Look, there's someone in a tent again. I mean, I don't know how these people do, but anyway. I continue to glamp and enjoy it. Have a great one, guys. Bye. Whitefish, Montana. We're all set up to have breakfast this morning. Here I am cooking some eggs with some spinach and cheese. We just got back from a beautiful walk in this morning um, and we are ready to go explore some more. This is our RV. Yay! Happy Friday! So pretty to me.
So peaceful. I'm doing a video. Okay. This is okay. This is very scary. All right. Look at these waterfalls we walk through to see another waterfall. Here we go. Stick your head in there. Stick your head in there. There we go. Impressive. Good morning. It is our last day of travel and our last day of vacation, and we're super sad. So everything is actually put away, ready for the trip. Everything's being packed up. A screen fell off, but we're gonna fix that. Um, but everything's gonna be put away and ready to roll. Timmy is going to be next with a public service announcement about the most unglamorous part of RV life. Stay tuned. Good morning, everyone. Our last day out. This is actually in Idaho Falls. And uh, we're gonna unhook and head down the road. But before we unhook, I wanna talk real quick. This will be real brief. The people that have done trailers before already know this kind of stuff. But when you pull in, you don't hook up your sewage and think, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and open my black water valve because everything that I do in there will automatically go down the drain because that's not the case. In fact, just the opposite. Because what happens is you have what they call a poop pyramid because every time you do it, it just drops there and doesn't go out of there. What you want it to do is come down in the fluid and you put your uh, chemicals in there so it actually uh, deteriorates on its own. The biologic part of it sits there and heats everything up. So that's what you want to do. You want to leave the stuff until you absolutely have to close, dump it and then dump it, flush it out, wash it out, make sure you wear gloves, be very safe, and then wrap everything up, put it away, and head down the road. Will you show them? Yeah. Let's go show them. So this is exactly how you put your sewage line on. We're trying to be quiet because it's really, really nice. I know. I know. This is why we're whispering. <laughs> this, is this, this little worm right here is the sewage line that goes all the way to... This is 
the least glamorous part of camping, uh, how to say. This is actually the electrical, the undergoing of the electrical um, outlet, and the water is right here. We just unhooked it because we're heading home, but there it is. It's dumping. That's Have a, a great wrap. Day, guys. Thank That's you. That's a wrap. Me.